Welcome to the CAP3 website. My name is John Byrne and I'm the Chief Investigator for CAP3. The Cancer Prevention Programme, CAP, involves people who have a genetic predisposition to cancer to find out what we can do to prevent those cancers happening. In the CAP2 study, a thousand people with Lynch syndrome took two aspirin a day or dummy tablets to see whether we would get fewer cancers in the people on aspirin and after five years we did. It was about a half rate of cancer in the people who took two aspirin compared to the placebos. Now we need to ask the question, can we get by on a smaller dose of aspirin and still get the same benefit? So what we're now looking for are people with Lynch syndrome with a mismatch repair gene defect, the underlying cause, and we want them to agree to be randomized to take three tablets a day, one small and two big. Now they might be on 100 milligrams, they might be getting 300 milligrams, or they might be getting 600 milligrams of aspirin. They won't know and we won't know, but we want them to keep in touch with us and so over the next five years we'll see whether the people taking 600 milligrams of aspirin have fewer cancers than the people taking 100 milligrams of aspirin. If in fact the cancer rates are the same in all three groups, then we can recommend for the next generation that they only need to take 100 milligrams of aspirin to get protection against cancer. If on the other hand two tablets gives you more protection then it becomes a trade-off. Are we going to accept the higher level of protection even though that brings with it the risk of a slight increase in the side effects such as ulcers and GI bleeding. If you do take part you have to know that you will be taking aspirin for a long time uh, and your doctor needs to know that so that if you get indigestion or if you look anemic you can be treated in the usual way. But remember aspirin has been around for a hundred years and doctors are very used to dealing with the side effects if they do occur. We'll also be collecting samples from people who take part because we want to see whether some people are more sensitive to aspirin than others and maybe get a more obvious reaction or more protection. The other thing we'll be collecting is some samples to see whether people develop antibodies against these cancers. Now the latest evidence suggests that our body tries to reject the cancer in Lynch syndrome uh, and that might in the future lead to new ways of treating it. But in the meantime it's a good way of telling whether someone has had a cancer if they've developed these antibodies. So we can compare the people in the different doses of aspirin to see if the antibodies are more or less common in those three groups. The important thing is that we can only answer this critically important question for future generations if you, people with Lynch syndrome, take part. And if you do take part, can I thank you on behalf of all the people around the world who will benefit from this knowledge.